music lovers, Cat with Hats here, together with someone you should get to know too, Ari Hunig. Hello! We are here in Munich and you are familiar with this town because um, you won a prize here three years ago. That's right, I almost forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Ari took it home to Brooklyn, New York. <laughs> okay. And I can ask you a question now, right? Oh, okay. 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 So you're, it's cat with hats. So what kind of hat are you wearing today? Oh, uh, I'm not prepared for that question. I don't <laughs> know. That's my uh, Friday hat, I guess. Don't uh, let her wear it for the next interview. Oh, <laughs> no. Ari is also a home in the jazz world. Uh, he's very busy as a composer and band leader, um, drumming sideman, educator, and. Um, you're also a columnist for the Modern Drama? Yeah, I haven't done that for a while, but yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And um, if I counted correctly, you recently um, released your 11th record. It's called The Pauper and the Magician. Perfect, yes. Uh -huh. Right now, uh, he's on tour with the Kenny Werner trio, a trio from New York. That's right. And um, I'm very curious how that will sound. It'll sound like jazz. Okay, <laughs> good. good. Good jazz, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> Probably due to being able to play the violin and the piano before you grab the drumsticks, you're quite a musician behind the drum kit, right? Well, yeah, that I, you, yeah I, I play some piano. I don't really play violin anymore. I, that was just as a, as a baby, you know, a little mm -hmm. kid. Okay, but still, I'm I sure still it piano. made something with you. Yeah. And we could talk about many things, but we don't really have the time. Okay. Because uh, the sound check and gig coming up. Uh, however, we do something. Before we do that, um, have a look at Ari's profile. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Ari Honig. I am 42 years old, uh, born in Philadelphia, and I live in Brooklyn, New York. Current band? Um, well, I would say the Ari Honig No Net. My endorsers are Bosphorus, Yamaha, Vader, and Evans. Um, both, but definitely student. A jazz drummer, I guess you could say. I'm a jazz drummer. Skins and medals. Um, I think I'm pretty relaxed, but uh, um, I, I, I'm, a, I'm an adventurer. I like to, to do new things. Did I have a plan B? No, not anything specific. Oh. can't really remember. Uh, something that probably one of my parents uh, were playing in, involved in, you know. Choir, maybe choral music or Baroque string music, maybe. Maybe like Michael Jackson Thriller or something like that. Oh, the last record I bought was Miles Smiles. That's what it was. I think it was Philly Joe Jones? I'd say my back porch. Maybe this little light of mine. Oh, it's an old spiritual. I play it on the drums. I play solo. Yeah, uh, Earl Harvin. I have quite a few hobbies, but um, let's say video games could be a good, good one. I'm living it, baby. I'm living the dream. <laughs> Can I? Oh, pretty much. Being enlightened is not thinking you're enlightened, but being open to enlightenment, I think. My website is arihonig.com. So I'm going to explain how I practice on the road. Uh, because, as a lot of you know, when you go on the road, when you go on tour, you don't really, you're not really able to have access to a set of drums. So, what if you're feeling inspired? What if you want to work? What if you want to get better? What do you do? Um, I'm of the belief that we drummers uh, have we've gone very far 
in the speed department. We've learned to play very fast, um, uh, almost as fast as we possibly can. Uh, so that, you know, has to do with that's muscular and that it's also you know, technique. But I also think that we haven't taken uh, rhythm and coordination uh, nearly as far. So those are two aspects that really interest me in particular. Um, what I do is I will just work with my four limbs. I'll just sit somewhere, be it on an airplane or a train or in the airport or on a nice park bench outside the club. Let's see, one of the things that I've been working on lately is uh, it's a rhythm of uh, four over three, uh, which sounds like this. And so the way that I've been uh, grouping it up is um, the three is triplets. And I've been playing that with my left hand and kind of thinking that that's the snare drum. And um, the four I've been uh, grouping in different ways. So uh, the most recent one has been groups of five. I've been playing one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one. So when you put those two together, you have one, uh, so it's and then I put the feet in with it too, um, and they go along with the uh with the right hand. So basically the foot pattern is so the four is one so this gets faster now Something like that. It's a work in progress. Um, and I'll show you what it sounds like on the drums in a little bit, too. Next one. So another one that I've been working on is something in 3-4 and uh, the right hand pattern is this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. And then I've been playing offbeat sextuplets with my feet alternating between my, my two feet, uh, my right foot and my left hand. So it sounds like this. The rhythm sounds like. And I can go down and, and show you what that sounds like on the drums if you want. All right, blues. Okay, let's do another one. Uh, something in three. One.
Johannes Weidmuller. Hello. Okay, Ari, thank you very much. Of course, Kat, no problem. For your practicing tip mm -hmm. on the road or anywhere, try it out at home. It's safe to do. And um, please check out uh, the links I listed below. They lead to Ari's CDs and educational material and also to his website, arihernick.com. Thanks for watching. Yep. There's more. So see you soon. Bye. Bye.